Hello there, um, Gary Spracklin here. I'm just going to give you an overview on how you can access the new shared templates on Google Drive for primary planning. So to access Google Drive, all you need to do is sign into your iPacker email account, account. Just put your username and password into the box there. Once you're signed into your email, you just click Drive at the top and that will take you through to Google Drive. In Google Drive, you've probably maybe only got a couple of things, or you might have a load of things like is in this one. Um, you, you should be able to access something called the Staff Master Drive. This is in addition to the Student Master Drive. The Staff Master Drive is only open to staff, students can't access it. And the Student Drive is open to students, but they can't edit, they can only view content. If these aren't appearing under My Drive, it may be that they're under the Shared With Me item. If they are under the Shared With Me icon, just tick them and click Add to My Drive. So something like Global Rock here, I can click Add to My Drive and it'll pull it across to My Drive. It's just giving you instant access to there. There's Global Rock that I've just pulled across. So you're going to need access to Staff Master Drive. Okay, and in here I can click and I can see that I've got a planning folder. I've got primary planning and I can see all the different folders set up. At the moment, something like Year 2 is completely blank inside. I've left you to set that out. I have done an example with year one, how people might want to set it out into half terms, uh, put their long term planning in there etc. Half term, week one, literacy and then you would put your literacy planning in that folder. So if I just go back up a level, go to staff master drive, um, if I click on planning, primary planning, in here we've got the master planning templates. Here's where you can click um, by ticking, you can tick more than one if you so wish, click more and you can download a copy. You can download it in whatever format you'd like, um, Microsoft Office, Open Office, PDF, plain text, a range of other formats that you can edit and use on your computer. But we would like you to upload those finished files direct to Google Drive so that we keep a one central record of all planning, all primary planning. That's, that's our aim here. Um, so that we no longer have these folders um, if people are off ill or whatever they may be out on courses, that the planning is there ready in Google Drive. Um, so there's, there's two ways we can do that. The first way is how I've just shown you. You can download a document, you can edit it on your computer, then you can upload it again. To upload a document to an area, you would go to Primary Planning, you would go to Year 1, Autumn 1, Week 1, Literacy, then you press the Upload button here on the left and you click Files. Do excuse all the seagulls in the background. Um, you click Files and this is where you would upload a file from your computer with your planning on. The alternative way to do it is if I go right back to the top, if I go to my drive, if I click create, I can create a document and I can actually create the planning in Google Drive. This means it doesn't, it never goes out of Google Drive and it just keeps it more secure. You can't lose it, it's always going to be there. It also means that you can invite other people to collaborate and use your planning together. So, if I go to create, I could go document, but that would just give me a blank document. And wherever we've actually got Google templates ready to use. To do that, for the very first time you do this, you need to connect, press connect more apps. By pressing the Connect More Apps button, I can add more things to Google Drive. If I search Templates, the first app that comes up should be Drive Template Gallery. Here it is. If I click Connect, now, whenever I go to Create, there will be a new button which says From Template. So if I click From Template, the first time I do this, I need to accept the conditions. you will see that it gives me some Google Docs templates. The first tab is public templates. These are general Google templates. The second is the iPacker Pacific ones. Here we've uploaded the primary master copies. This is great because it means if we make changes to the masters, they will also appear here. We've got templates I've used before and my templates. So let's take it that we were doing some literacy. If we click use this template, It's now going to open up and it's going to show us the template ready to start working on. At the moment, just, just this is just called Copy of Primary Literacy Planning. But obviously I would call it um, Literacy Week 1 Autumn. Oh, battery's running now. Autumn 1, 2013. Now it's created this document. The next thing I need to do is make sure I save it in the correct location at the moment. The default will be to save it direct to my drive. I want to save it in master drive though. 
under planning, primary planning, year one, autumn one, week one, literacy. And now press move. And that document's going to be there ready. And I can add my I can add my work, etc. And it's ready, it's done. Now whenever whenever anybody goes into staff master drive, they get to planning. Oh, they can click on the right one. Planning, primary planning, year one, autumn one, week one, literacy. There's the planning there. And if we all work in this format, it just means that we can instantly access those documents. We can share them, we can edit them together. I think that's a really powerful way moving forward. Again, like I said, you can do it in a more traditional way, that's fine. But just remember to use this upload button and upload the files so that they're accessible for when you're not around. Thank you very much.